Good morning everyone. We already know plants also need energy to maintain life as they are living things. So a plant needs oxygen and yes plants also perform aerobic respiration like us and plants also need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. We already know there are tiny pores present on the surface of leaves where massive amounts of gaseous exchange takes place. These are stomata. You know, there are many raised pores in the stems of woody plants. These are called lenticels. These lenticels are also used for gaseous exchange. Now, the gaseous exchange needs to be controlled or else large amount of water would be lost as vapor through these pores. So, there is a mechanism in place to close the stomata pores when not required. The opening and closing of these pores are controlled by the guard cells. The guard cells swell when water flows into them causing the stomatal pores to open. Similarly, the pore closes if the guard cell shrinks. But there is no such mechanism for controlling the lenticels. Now, the plant roots take oxygen through lenticel or through the surface of their root hair. But in saline, marshy, waterlogged soil, oxygen level is very, very low. So, some branch roots grow vertically and come out of the soil to take in oxygen from air. We call these pneumatophores. Now, how is the gas transported to different parts of the plant? The water acts as the medium of transport just the way blood acts as the medium of transport in animals. The substances taken in by the stomatal opening lead to the pipeline that plant uses for transportation. The gaseous exchange in the cell works by diffusion. When the cell is low in oxygen, the oxygen concentration is higher outside the cell. So, oxygen diffuses into the cell. When the oxygen level is high in cell because of photosynthesis and oxygen concentration is lower in the surrounding, the oxygen gas diffuses out of the cell. The same process is followed for carbon dioxide. Oxygen, carbon dioxide travel from one cell to another or from one cell to intercellular space then to the next cell through diffusion process. But it's the plant's transportation system which carries substance to a longer distance using water as the transport medium. That's all for now. Bye-bye.